Hey, all right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just hope that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord looks out for you, that he keeps comforting you. He gives you more strength and wisdom. I pray that you keep putting him first and stay on that narrow path. I hope that your mental health just gets better. I pray that you have a merry heart and you have more joy. You have some more you can laugh or smile about. I pray that you have more comforting and ease through every situation that you're in. All right, y'all. Shalom, shalom. Greetings, people. Greetings, family. My family in Christ, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Welcome, people. Shout outs to all people, all tribes, all nations, all languages, elders, youngins, uh, you know, teenagers, everybody, young adults, middle aged people, black, yellow, green, yellow, right, red, orange, purple, whatever. Hey, everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, man, let's get it. All right. So today's message, we're just going to do the news roundup. Just talk about everything that's going on all four corners of the earth. We're going to talk about American news, local news, national news, regional news. We're going to talk about world news, things going on in different countries, news based on resources, news based around, um, you know, Resources, I said resources, politics, science, tech, business, everything. It's important to be very well-rounded. You know, we have to be aware of everything that's going on and every different topic. You know, we can't just be one-dimensional or two-dimensional about things. You know what I mean? The Lord wants us to um, really have more wisdom about things. And we can't be so heavily minded we're no earthly good. And we can't be, you know, too righteous or too wise. We have to always be willing to learn about things. We have to always be willing to hear things out and see things out, all right? So... Let us not lean on our own understanding about these things. If you have any personal experiences with any of these news cycles that I'm about to run through, um, share it in the comment section or what have you, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot going on in our neck of the woods. There's a lot going on in a lot of people's neck of the woods, man. You know what I mean? So it's important that we link up and we gather and we have these open discussions about all types of things, you know. No matter how uncomfortable the topic is, we have to always be able to discuss it. Amen. So... I'm going to run through these news tabloids, you know what I'm saying? Talk about the good, bad, and ugly news and just kind of go from there, all right? So, and all that's going on, prophecy is being fulfilled, and we all understand that we are definitely in the days of Noah, we are definitely in the end times, we are definitely in the last days, but don't let the enemy steal your joy. You still have a lot to live for, you still have a lot to look forward to, you still have a lot of experiences to have, you still have a lot of places to visit, you still have a lot of people to help, all right? Amen. So don't ever let nobody take away your joy, your sanity, because you need that in these end times. Trust. All right. So we're going to go through this news roundup. We're going to do the closing out prayer, giving all the most high, all the praise and glory. And we're definitely going to do that priestly blessing to end it up. All right. So here we go. News roundup for this week. Giant hail is spotted as severe weather tornado threat hits Texas. A Boston pizzeria chain owner assaulted a threatened immigrant. Immigrant worker says, Fed says, okay. NYPD detective following in her father's footsteps. Zelensky digs in against calls to quit back mud. Let's see. Chinese companies are shipping rifles, body armor to Russia. Uh oh. <laughs> Fighter jets coming ASAP. Poland tells Ukraine. Bank lifelines ease glo- global financial crisis fears. North Korea says it launched ICBM to warn U.S. South Korea over drills. See, we have a senior U.S. envoy to travel to Honduras as it considers China ties. Banking executives sold millions in stocks before crash. WSJ Wall Street Journal. Senator Cassidy to Yellen at hearing that's a lie. First Republic Bank getting bailed out by large banks in $30 billion plan. U.S. has seen a significant spike in aggressive Russian military flights in Syria this month, Commander says. U.S. airplane near misses keep coming. Now officials are talking about averting catastrophic incidents. Right, let's see what we have here. So I'm just reading these headlines as they are, so just bear with me, all right? What's going on with all the runaway close, close calls? Body foot, body camera footage released a fatal police shooting of activist Najizi Brooks in New Jersey. Hmm. Open AI CEO says artificial intelligence will reshape society, acknowledges risk. 
U.S. military re- releases video from Russian fighter jet crash with, ju- with, with, with a drone. Let's see what we have here. GOP pilots in Congress call on Biden to withdraw his entirely unqualified FAA nomination. Luxury cars have been stolen within airports, especially in Miami. Let's see what we have here. A silent pandemic warning from WHO, World Health Health Organization. Bacteria killing too many people due to antimicrobial resistance. A silent pandemic. Hmm. Let's see. Virginia's big blunder and Marsh Madness upset to Furman has social media baffled. Marsh Madness season. California will remake San Quentin prison, emphasizing rehab. Ten people are charged in Ervo Atino's death at mental hospital. Pentagon video shows Russian jet dumping fuel on U.S. drone. Biden administration sides with climate lawsuit against fossil fuel companies. Let's see what we have here. U.S. banks launched $30 billion rescue First Republic to stem, to stem spiraling crisis. Federal prosecutors warn court of potential deluge of January 6th charges. Special counsel subpoenas dozens of Mar-a-Lago staff to testify in Trump classified documents investigation. Russian jets, coll- Russian jets collision with a U.S. drone shows Russia may have a fighter pilot, a fighter pilot problem. Former U.S. Avi- aviators say, making a hundred thousand dollars in New York City feels like only thirty six thousand dollars, according to a new study. Here are the top ten cities where your money goes further. Hmm, interesting. New York's a very expensive place to live. So is St. Louis, San Antonio, Fort Worth, Arlington, Texas, Houston, Texas, Lubbock, Texas, Corpus Christi, Texas, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, El Paso, Texas, and Memphis, Tennessee. So people live in conditions are a bit different living in those cities. Denver donates 35 bison to Native American tribes. Poland will send fighter jets to Ukraine, the first NATO country to do so. Sickle cell patient's success with gene editing raises hopes and questions. France pension protests clashes after Macron orders rise in pension age without vote. Video shows moment Russian fighter jet hits U.S. drone over Black Sea. Credit Sasui. Sasui. U.S. says bank deposits safe and available when needed. All right, let's see. Marsh Madness, Hunter Biden, and others got $1.3 million from a business associate linked to China. There are 10 housing markets across the U.S. where home sellers are sitting pretty. Hmm. And that for sure is Devonport, Iowa, Montgomery, Alabama, Wichita, Kansas, Tucson, Oklahoma, Youngstown, Ohio, Minneapolis, Minnesota, McAllen, Texas, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Little Rock, Arkansas, Knoxville, Tennessee. All right, so let's see what we have here. Seven states now plan to ban gas-powered car sales. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. That's crazy. Seven states, U.S. to pay $6.5 million in lost wages owed to Mexican migrant workers. China sees record 7.7 million applicants for 200,000 government jobs. Chinese billionaire living in the U.S. arrested for allegedly operating $1 billion fraud scam. A fraud scheme. Wow. Billion dollars. Sheesh. How you pulled that off? <laughs> Latest Biden administration sanctions waiver allows $500 million payments for Iran. Steve Harvey encourages more black people to go back to the motherland to visit Africa. Hmm. Maker passes first vote to increase U.S. Treasury bond holdings to $1.25 billion. China has better hypersonic missiles than Russia and can strike U.S. bases, official says. SVB collapse. Banks borrow $164.8 billion from from Fed in the past week. Oklahoma man who got early release commits triple homicide cuts out a woman's heart. Wow. Very sick world we're living in, man. Sheesh, people are evil down here. This is definitely days of Noah. 
Higher protein consumption is associated with lower levels of depressive symptoms, study says, study finds. The West must defeat, not engage the Chinese Communist Party. A top U.S. general warns ISIS will be able to strike Western interests from Afghanistan within six months. Vladimir Putin, U.S. issued fresh warning not to ignore his nuclear threats. It is certainly not impossible. China warns Philippines not to give U.S. more access to bases. Silicon Valley Bank's failure might just spark a faster housing rebound. How America's pharmaceutical industry got out of control. Hmm. Steven Seagal declares himself one million percent Russian and lashes out at U.S. disinformation. Fighter jets are worthless over Ukraine. It is a sign of what U.S. pilots and troops may face in future battles. 206 Democrats vote against bill banning federal officials from policing online speech. Hmm, Interesting. Russian destruction of drone backfires as U.S. sets up new base on Putin's doorstep. Use of nuclear weapons would be end of North Korea's regime. Let's see. Boomer Dad explains why America is experiencing labor issues and hits the nail on the head. We're on our own titles. The rural U.S. town where police refuse calls. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Angry Jim Kim Jong Un fires a long range missile at South Korea. Japan men ties amid nuclear threat from North Korea. All right, let's see what we have here. Let's see. Japan is ditching its attack helicopters and another sign that one of the most important modern military weapons is losing its luster. Let's see. Colorado will soon have one of the country's worst comprehensive PFAS laws. Environmental Protection Agency. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. Let's see. Tensions between U.S. and China will only grow as both countries enter an artificial intelligence arm race. Mm-mm-mm. That's crazy. We live in a weird, crazy world, people. All right. So we got to stick close to the most high in these weird end times that we're in. All right. Let's see what we have here. The U.S. has been spending obscene sums of money on unused border wall material. Let's see what we have here. Federal government struggles to understand scope of pandemic fraud three years into COVID-19. Let's see what we got going on around here. Amazon looking to fill 1,200 full-time, $19 an hour jobs at New Fulfillment Center in Detroit. A lot of crazy stuff be going on in those Amazon work warehouses. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Man, there's just a lot going on in this world, you know what I mean? Let's just see. Surge pricing is being used in restaurants and movie theaters, making everyday activities as much more expensive. Let's see. Jacksonville's gang war crosses into North Carolina with sentencing of rapper ATKYBZ. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. All right, y'all. So there you have it. Just a quick little news roundup for this week. There's just a lot much more going on, but I just want to squeeze in just this amount. What was on the tabloids? All right. So let us be watchful in these end times. Let us not be fearful, but let us be watchful. Let us be vigilant. Let us be diligent. Let us be sober. All right. Let us stay in the armor of God. And let us always remember that. Our battle is not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities of the air and wickedness in high places, all right? So always keep that in mind as we're going through these days that we're in, all right? Always be mindful and helpful of your neighbor, anybody around you. Try to always be helpful, as resourceful as possible as you can, all right? We all need each other. We all need to be in unity for the Lord, all right? This body of Christ has to be together in these end times, amen? So there you have it. What I would love to do as I close out is give all the glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. So here we go. 
All right, he is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. Amen. The Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith, the Author Perfecter of our faith, the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the Beloved Son, the Blessed Only Potent, the Blessed Only Ruler, the Branch, the Bread of God, the Bread of Life, the Bridegroom, the Capstone, the Captain of Salvation, the Chief Cornerstone, the Chief Shepherd. Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation. The I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal. Yes, he is the king of Israel. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings. Amen. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone. The Lord, our righteousness, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Yahweh, Ahayah, Shai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, the Father of lights, the Father of the fatherless, the consuming fire. Amen. He is the, sus the sustainer, the sufficient one, the righteous one, the perfect example. Amen. The Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Father of the fatherless, the Father of lights. He is the Elohim. He is the consuming fire. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven. The man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband. Our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice to Passover lamb. The power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrector, the revelator, the revelation, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the shalom. The Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, the son of the blessed, the son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, amen, he is the way, truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, he is the word, amen. So there you have it, y'all, we touch and agree, we serve an awesome creator, and the sun is amazing for dying for our sins. Hallelujah. So there you have it. All right. That's the news roundup for this week. And yeah, you know, we do. We are. We are healed. We are renewed. We are saved, man. You know what I mean? Got to hang in there, people. Got to be patient. You have to hang in there. All right. Always keep that in mind as you're going through these days. Amen. You are renewed. You are healed. You are restored. You got to put the Lord first in your life. Amen. So there you have it, y'all, all right? That is the news roundup, and that's that, y'all, okay? Let me just hit y'all with the priestly blessing and just close from there, all right? So here we go. <clears throat> the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. Shalom. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized, you start your life full for the most high. I pray that you repent and have new beginnings. And I just hope that your life gets better for the Lord and that you hang in there and stay strong in these times that we're in. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace. <laughs>